Welcome back to the channel. And today I want to talk to you about something about it's going to build your consistency. All right. And if, especially if you're a golfer who has a tendency to hit it a bit left um, or don't really have any sort of idea of where it's going to go. This is really going to help you to get back into sync. All right. So that's generally a sign of somebody who's a little bit out of sync with the hands and arms and body. So we're going to show you a drill. We're going to talk about why you're doing it. We're going to show you a drill as to help you to try and fix it. OK, so come on, let's go do it. Okay, so better synchronization of the hands, arms, and body. Okay, what does that actually mean? Well, when we look at golf swings, the way I was taught to do it is you're looking at circles. So we're looking to sync those circles up. So I have an inner circle, which is my body motion. Okay, and this creates a, a motion of my arms swinging around my body. But then also I've then got the club circle as well. So I've got the club heads going around me in a circle as well. So those two circles, when we swing a golf club, we want them to match up as best as we possibly can. Yes, there's a sequence in order, of, you know, the, and the back swing, you know, shoulders first, club and so on. And then it's the body, lower body first, and then the hands and arms and so on. But it feels like there's two circles moving around me at this, a similar sync or, or synced up movement okay we don't want one out race and the other because what we generally see is we either see people swinging the arms and they're not moving the body or we see people moving the body and then the arms and they get out of sync and when you do that inconsistency just comes from everywhere you can hit all sorts of different shots you know top shots fat shots thins um left shots right shots everything can come into play from there the most common one i tend to see is when the a better golfer they have a tendency sometimes to to move the, the inner circle too soon and this gets the club head to be fall or gets the club head to fall behind them too much and get stuck or jammed and then from here they have to stall the body and then catch the hands up and flip at it okay it's a good player's fault I've done that one I still do it occasionally and it's something that I work on consistently now a drill that I used to do that I used to do oh, a lot I used to do it until the cows come home okay I used to be out there a long time doing this one was to feel this connection of my left, upper left arm, okay, on both arms really. My old, my old coach, Mark Gillins, he used to have me uh, put towels under my armpits. So I was clipping onto those and I'd have to hit shot after shot, keeping those moving. And I was moving my chest and my body more to control the club and the hands and arms. And I felt them linked up, uh, which helped me to gain more consistency, okay? Sounds like two dogs walking past each other <laughs> saying hi. Um, so I used to have to hit shots like that a lot. And um, it used to be breeding a lot of consistency. Now, nowadays, oh, look, I don't have to do that. Look, watch this. Ready? Look at that. Don't even have to bend over. So I use this thing here. It's called the boomerang. It's from David Ledbetter's uh, swing training aids. You can use head covers or gloves or whatever. I just find this quite handy. Um, you don't want it too th thick either. Uh, sometimes head covers are too thick. You want it just, just enough so you can just pinch it. Some great golfers, what they tend to do is take their shirt and tuck it under their armpit and pinch it. Uh, I've, I've seen uh, Adam Scott do that one. You know, where they just pinch it under and just click it under there. This just gives them better connection, as they would call it. Uh, this will help them to sync the swing up a lot more as they swing through. You can even do that on putting as well. It's a great one for putting. You know, if you link that up, you can feel uh, the arm staying connected to the chest. You create that perfect pendulum as if you've got arms going everywhere. It's another way of doing it. This is where these come in as well. Okay, you can just feel that better connection. So what I want you to do is just hit some shots doing this. And when people used to do the towel drill, the biggest mistake they used to make with this was to try and make too full a swing, um, especially on the forward swing, expecting to keep this in together. But when you make a full swing, we actually want it to come out because the arm's going to come away from the, the chest. But for this purpose, you're just going to do a few short shots just with a, an eight iron. I've got an eight iron here. You can use a nine iron or a wedge. And all I'm going to try and do from here is keep this connected and turn through more with my body because I get a little bit lazy with my body. I, I stop and I allow the club head to pass me. I want to try and start working on turning everything together, but turning through more. I'm really having to work harder, as they would say, to hit the ball. And you just hit some shots doing that. So I'm going to keep this linked under my arm. I'm going to feel that connection. So back and through. Okay, I can really feel that stay connected and I got a better shot. Oh, T-Peg went backwards. Ugh. So it's a great feeling. And when I do this, the harder I pull to the left with my body, actually I feel like I can't hit it left. So funny enough, I can swing left in order to not hit it left, if that makes sense. So the harder I pull 
left with my body, I actually hit the ball a lot straighter and I can't hit it left at all. If anything, I hit a little fade. So just from here, back and through, okay? And everything there feels in perfect sync and that's exactly what I want. So when I'm swinging through from here, I'm turning everything together, okay? So just from this angle, I'm turning everything together. Now it feels quite tight, but that's because I'm trying to pinch it in there. But after a while, once I've done that, if I do one more, I'll do one more, just feeling everything work together. So I'll just move that there a bit more. Excuse me. So I'm using a tea peg as well. You can use a tea peg, you don't have to. Uh, I'm just wimping out a bit today. I was at the range earlier, hitting shots, doing this uh, without one. It was it was feeling great. So back and through. Okay, working harder. And now, once I've done that a few times, I can get rid of that. I can now try and feel that sensation. Okay, I feel like my upper arm, my upper arm, especially my left arm, is staying connected to my chest. And I'm going to try and sense that throughout the swing. So I'm just going to swing back and through, okay? Everything stays better connected. The more you practice that, the better it will get. And you'll get that better connection and more control because uh, the club head won't want to flip past, okay? Because your body's leading the club through. But it's all about synchronization and that's really what we're after. Swinging in sync, getting the hands, arms and clubs and body is really what we're after in the swing to play better golf. So back and through. You're really going to hit the ball a lot better when you do that. So anyway, give it a try. I hope it helps and drop in a comment below if it does, you know, if it helps you out. That'd be great to find out if it does. So there you have it. That's synchronization. We want to get everything moving in sync. Get those two circles working together, the inner circle and then the outside circle. We want them to be as harmonized as much as we possibly can. Yes, there is sequence to that. And yes, there is timing uh, and there's more uh, on that or more coming to that on my website which I have which is www.mattbakergolf.com um, but yeah it's basically a case of getting everything working together in sync in harmony the more you can do that the more consistent you're going to be and that's what everybody wants they want to be a better more consistent golfer use devices like this this cost me 14 pound it was nothing really um, I know you can buy it I know you can use gloves or whatever whatever you have to do it doesn't have to be expensive I just liked this that was all um, and it fits in my bag quite nicely. This is just the boomerang from David Ledbetter. I'm not sponsored, by the way. Um, anyway, I hope that helps you. Uh, thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. It really would help me out immensely if you do. Um, and I'd appreciate it as well. Anyway, have a great week and I'll catch you again soon.